Okay, so for your homework, I want you to answer part one and part two, but I want you to do it two ways, okay? So I think, or hopefully, I got across the idea of what we're trying to do. So in part one, we split it into four boxes. Um, and we figured out then if you're splitting an area or a length of three into four boxes, then each one is going to be 0 0.75. We fit the boxes in. You now know, obviously, each width is 0 0.75, but you now know how to find the height of the boxes or the length of the boxes um, by using substitution like I have over here on the left. So, oh, sorry. So essentially what we're going to have is... Um, Rectangle number one has a width of 0 0.75 and then to get its height, it's going to be um, the height of rectangle one is at x equal to zero. So it becomes zero squared plus one using this. 0 squared plus 1. Where's my calculator? So that is 1. And then to get the area, we multiply the width by the height, which in this case is 0 0.75. For rectangle number 2, the width is going to be 0 0.75. Rectangle number 2, I had kind of started talking about, but the height of rectangle number 2 is the y value when x is 0 0.75. So it's at x equal to 0 0.75, which becomes 0 0.75 squared plus 1. I know somebody gave this answer, but I don't know if I wrote it down. So it's 1.5625, 1.5625. And then to get the area, you multiply them together. So multiply by 0 0.75. And I'm getting, oh, I'm just going to leave it as a fraction, uh, 75 over 64. The third rectangle has a width of 0 0.75 and then the height is here. So it is the y value at x equal to 1.5. So we do the same thing, but this time it's x equal to 1.5. Yeah? Okay. You get the area of the four rectangles and the idea is that you add them up. Okay, and you're getting an approximate area for the um, area under the curve. Obviously, with like big, huge, gaping holes. Yeah. Now, I would like you then to also estimate this area using the trapezoidal rule. Sorry, now I'm just going to get the trapezoidal rule and throw it in there. So it's all going into um, area, I think it's right at the end. Hmm. Oh, there it is, sorry, couldn't find it. Uh, yeah, so the trapezoidal rule is this. And then I'm in here. Sorry, you will not reset to the very top. Okay, so will this work? Yeah. So there is the trapezoidal rule. So it's the width of the strips, which we know is 0 0.75, divided by 2. The height of the first bar. So instead of thinking these as rectangles, we're now thinking, them, thinking of them as bars. So the height of the first bar is like this here that I have in pink. Um, plus the blue is the height of the last bar. So that's going to be here. So the height of the last bar. And then it's plus two times the rest of the bars added together. So there's one, two, three more bars 
to add together. And that will give you, it says it up here, it will give you an estimate for the area of the shape. Yeah? And then I would like you to do question two, or part two. So the approximate area under the curve and the x-axis, so same thing, zero and three, but this time we're going to fit, and the difference is we're going to fit in eight rectangles of equal area. Okay, and then I want to see what you get. Again, do it two ways. So I've nearly finished the first one for you. Do the second one where instead of fitting in four bars, we're going to fit in eight bars. So eight bars, because they're thinner, we should be improving the approximation by making less of the area, um, like basically less, those yellow bits get smaller, like I showed you earlier. Yeah, so you should have four answers. You'll have an answer using the area of the rectangles and an answer using the trapezoidal rule for four equal bars. Then you'll have an answer for the area of the rectangles and a trapezoidal rule for the eight bars when you fit them in. And then what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to integrate the curve. So integrate x squared plus 1 dx on the interval 0 to 3. Again, like I said earlier, integration is the best approximation because it fits in an infinite number of infinitely thin rectangles. So in the first one, we're fitting in four, we will get an approximation. In the second one, we're fitting in eight, we will get an approximation. And then for integration, we're obviously making a big leap and fitting in an infinite number of rectangles. So that should kind of be your be all and end all. Okay, so I just want you to look at the numbers and see what you get. I think if you do this investigation, you should have a good understanding of um, integration, the trapezoidal rule and kind of what integration does. All right. Okay, so that is your homework, along with the remainder of question seven. And I also just put in two or three integrations from yesterday, the definite integral ones.